Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate General Civil War. We're playing part, oh, I think it's like 32 or 33 in my Union Campaign Let's Play, where I'm, again, fighting as the Union, progressing through the Grand Campaign, and we are now on the second day of the Battle of Chancellorsville. The first day of the Battle of Chancellorsville, April 30th, saw our forces come up, attack the Confederates as they were coming up, take the two key crossroads, and then be overwhelmed as massive Confederate reinforcements drove us from our positions and forced us to retreat at heavy casualties. I lost more than 15% of one of my corps, the most experienced corps in the Union Army. We are now advancing on to May 2nd, which is the second... Uh, in this game, anyway, the second day's battle of Chancellorsville, where Hooker has shifted over to the defensive and allowed Lee to take the momentum, launch Jackson on his ill, well, not ill-fated, on his personally ill-fated, but on his very successful flank attack against the Union forces, and uh, surprising Hooker there for the, sort of the most famous day of the battle of Chancellorsville. Uh, with that said, this was all taken from a live stream, so let's go ahead and jump back into that audio, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'll meet you guys back up at the end. Thanks. All right, everybody, we're back. We're about to fight May 2nd, 1863. I do believe that was the attack by Jackson. Uh, I know some of you are saying May 3rd. May 3rd was actually the bloodiest day in the battle, uh, but that was as the Confederates attempted to link their two wings of the army up, push back a Union salient, drive them off the Chancellorsville farm, and force the Union to retreat. But that really, really bloody day was actually... Uh, on July or May 3rd. May 2nd, I believe, was the flank attack. There's another date of the battle, but it's not, uh, it wasn't the flank attack. The flank attack was May 2nd. General, it seems our plan is not progressing uh, well. The Confederates responded very aggressively, and now we are on the defensive. Our camp in Chancellorsville must be secured if we want to advance further. Our brigades must be deployed to defend the east side of the camp. Our left flank, the rebels are less likely to attack us here, but we must be wary. A strong infantry presence in this area will protect us against a direct frontal attack from Lee. Our brigades need to defend the ground around the camp. And up to this section. Finally, some brigades must cover our far right in this road junction. If the Confederates want to move to our right, they probably will come from here. Uh, if reserves are available, they're expected to arrive late in the evening from this road. There are no reserves because we don't have a fourth core. Oh my god, it's hard to keep track. General, we're completely unaware of what the rebels are planning. They haven't attacked us till now. It is getting dark. Advance to this time at this time could be extremely risky, but also rewarding. It's your call to decide what's best. Alright. Um, let's see here. We've got some fresh brigades in the front here. Just kind of trying to figure out how I how I want to receive Jackson. I'm gonna be a little bit gamey if I say, alright, let's pull everybody back. But maybe we should Let's see here. I'm thinking the best way to defend against Jackson may be this. We're going to go ahead and put two brigades here. Three brigades in this wooded area. Kind of want to use this wood line here as our defensive. So I'm sure he'll, he'll move more regiments up against us and try and go wide around us, or at least that's what I would do. Again, I know I'm being very gamey here, guys. I know this is, you know, me playing the I know history card. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose just because I feel like, you know, letting the enemy surprise me. We'll put some cavalry out here to scout, pull our artillery back to here, and hopefully they come across this open ground as we set up some groups in, uh, in these woods here on the flank. I think this can kind of be our anchor. Um, I'm going to put one cavalry unit here to act as the eyeballs of our left flank. We're going to put one other cavalry unit over here. It's already 5.30 in the afternoon on May 2nd, so the main attack for the Confederates should probably be starting soon. Um, Hector will go over here and reserve. 
and I have a, I have a hunch I'm going to need more troops over here. So we'll have some time to respond if necessary, but I'm actually going to pull several brigades from my right over as well. Does leave us a little exposed over there. There's a little bit of a gap for our forces, as you can see here, but we've got troops to the front. Um, it's here. Here, so we can link up this whole line all the way up to the north. So we'll kind of hold our, our right. Our center, we're going to advance into this wood line here, hopefully to gain some good covering ground. And if there's an opportunity, push the Confederates back. The fact that Lee detached... Jackson to go on this wide flanking maneuver means the center should be somewhat weak. And I'm hoping it may give us an opportunity uh, to hit them when they're maybe a little exposed. I'm not sure how weak they are in the center, but I don't think they're super strong. Move our artillery forward to support. We'll move one of these brigades over here on the flank to support that flank. And these brigades here aren't doing a lot. Well, actually, I think there's a main enemy attack that advances up this way. That's, that might be July. That might be May 3rd. But it would expose us a bit. So we'll go ahead and move one brigade down here, one brigade over here, into this wood line to kind of secure our left. Meanwhile, the second Iron Brigade will fall back here as, again, further reserve to deal with the Confederate attack, which we know is coming. All right. So we're moving some troops. I'm sure there will be some contact in the in the front here. And it'll be like, oh, Lee is still here. You don't want to attack. And then Jackson will show up. Coming down this road. All right, nothing yet, but they've got to be coming. They've got to be there. Lynch isn't really doing any good here either, so we'll advance Lynch as well. And for Pleasanton. We'll see what the enemy has in store for us in this woodland. Because again, I think to win, we still the, the victory objectives are the same. We still have to hold the Orange Turnpike and the Plank Road which are these two objectives we held briefly yesterday. Enemy cavalry is trying to chase us down. Good sign Jackson's almost here. As we move our troops into these woods, these guys better be under good cover. They are. Enemy cavalry down here as well. Engagement is joined. In the woods. Jackson's attacking our flank. Oh my goodness. Alright, so our cavalry is doing their job and alerting us to the danger. The question is how wide that flank attack is going to be. Let's move Hooker up over here just in case he goes wider than I'm thinking. I don't think he'll go that far north, but... AP Hill's division is approaching our right. So he is kind of far up here. Up and over our flank. I'm hoping he doesn't go that wide. We'll see. Alright, so our cavalry drove some of theirs back. Let's pull back. I don't want to chase them into our own destruction. Face these guys this way, and then let's go ahead and move Sherman north as well. Just in case the enemy goes much wider than I'm thinking, than I'm hoping is really the right answer. Williams, your job's gonna be to go up over here and make sure we don't get surprised. Hector, you'll be in reserve here. Sherman a little bit further north. 
All right, so we have pushed the enemy back slightly in this wood line. Let's go ahead and continue that advance. Go ahead and charge those. Go find those skirmishers. Where did they go? Mm. Our cavalry is dealing with some of their skirmishers. Let's fall back. I don't want to get sucked too far in. Do we have any supply wagons? We're going to need some supply over here for sure. Alright. Pull back to the main line here. You're not going to hold that ob observation point. Oh, now they can charge again. Of course. Okay. Alright, so the enemy does have some troops in some defensive positions here. How are we faring? Hard to tell because it doesn't tell me what we're doing since the, the fight was joined. These guys are, need to get into the woods a little bit more. Let's have you guard the flank. I don't think we're going to attack both of these objectives simultaneously. Meager's getting hit hard. Buckley was pushed back. Oh, the main attack. Here's to be forming up. They are going wider around our flank than I had hoped. We're going to refuse our flank here. Pull back. Use this wood over here to guard our, our far flank. Let's go ahead and have Sherman pull back. Hooker's going to go wide over here just to buy us more time. Right, let's bring some of these reserves forward. Meanwhile, how are we doing on this front? I'd rather you shoot at these guys. The enemy has a lot of artillery guarding this position, though. Alright, so we pushed these guys back. We pu pushed Paxton back. Bring Caldwell up in reserve. Go ahead and guard her flank over here. Bring Frank up. I don't think they're going to launch a major attack on our right. It feels like we're wasting that whole core. Guys, do your job. Still waiting for that massive weight of Jackson to come streaming down. I mean, obviously we've we're not getting hit all at once as I would kind of have expected otherwise, but We're going to surprise that enemy cavalry in a minute. Okay, Mahone is retreating. Nice. The enemy center's bending, at least. Still have a lot of men here, but they are bending, that's for sure. Alright, meanwhile on the left. Alright, so we drove that enemy cavalry back. Alright, 
weight of numbers is probably going to start telling here shortly. I would expect. Why are these guys taking so long to reload their guns? What are these? Napoleons? These cavalry are crazy vulnerable to a volley if we can just get one off when they're in close range. That, well, that one is a good volley. That's less good. Alright. Wolford. There's another defensive line here, unfortunately. We're getting chewed up a bit. Let's bring Gamer forward and let's bring our general forward. Alright, bring Harris up onto the flank of Wolford and he should cave pretty damn quick. Foreman is just melting away. What are you doing? Halt. Alright, Meager, move forward. How's the left? So they're forming up here. We're continuing to extend our line. Alright. Nelson's being suckered forward. We'll pull him back a bit. The ammo wagon is here. Hegram forward, bring Sherman forward. Cavalry's guarding that flank. Bring Hooker over here. Second Iron Brigade, we've got our cavalry over here, so they shouldn't be able to surprise us too much. They're really just kind of centering on this uh, salient here. God damn it. Harris doesn't have a flag. I don't know if he's wounded or if he's just invisible or what. Alright, Wolford's running. Perfect. He's out of his position. He's going to get hit by two volleys almost simultaneously. And there he goes. Out of his defensive position. Mahone can now flank this line. Caldwell can come up in reserve, Stanley can push forward, and we are close to taking this, this road line here. Meanwhile, Jackson's corps is all lined up. Pleasanton's wounded over here. Let's bring this cavalry forward to scout a bit, and let's get some more additional brigades committed to this front. Let's bring some artillery up, and we're launching our own night attack, it appears. Attack in the front here is going okay. On the left, we're, you know, holding our own. Get these guys into the woods at the double. At the double. Hooker as well, get in there before they chew that artillery up. That's kind of the backbone of our defense here. They're pushing us back ever so slowly. We just secured the Orange Plank Road. Now we can turn north, try and Flank their line. And get them out of those defensive positions. Caldwell's going to go up and around. Stanley will go up and around. Pleasanton will just shift his... his can't order. Give him orders. What the fuck? Alright, Nelson, where are you? He's on the flank. That's not good. Nelson, I think, is a brig brigade commander. Either way, he's a major general. Or division commander. Either way, he's a major general. Alright, Latimer, make sure they're not around us over here. Alright, so we've got some reserves over here. We're going to move north. advancing down that road. Wolford's coming up as a reserve. We'll go ahead and engage. Can we kill Lee right now? Just I don't care if you waste a volley, Mahone. Take care of that, that little guy. 
little guy. Poor little failure. Alright, he's just gonna shoot a Walford. Whatever. Alright. So we'll bring Lynch up. He'll engage Wright, who's in his positions. That'll fix these guys and their defensive works as we kind of sweep up and around them. Harris go up and around. There is a brigade on our flank. Buckley's dealing with him. Probably going to need to bring some supplies forward, so I'll have to bring Harden forward. Alright. This is... What I'm doing is what Hooker probably should have done, but did not have... I don't know if he didn't have the wits to do, didn't have the stamina, whatever it was. But hold Jackson on the left, which was much more easily said than done because I knew he was coming. Um, and then attack in the center. Even if he had just attacked in the center, you know, even while Jackson was attacking his flank... It would have been disastrous for the Confederates, but he was just, you know, Lee had beaten him in his head. So. I don't think I'm going to get there in this hour, though, so we'll see how this battle unfolds, because it may advance us to day three. I am fighting the Battle of Chancellorsville, everybody. In case you were unaware, we're on day two of the fight, and we've stopped Jackson's flank attack stone cold, and we've broken Lee's center. We're trying to turn Lee's right. Caldwell just got flanked. Yikes. Hone go up and over. So he's got more defenses in this uh, wooded area. Let's bring Pettit forward. Carr and, and Lynch are trying to press the enemy. Let's see what our cavalry can find out. Our artillery can't see Jack. They're really ineffective at this point. Let's bring in some supply up. You guys really don't need to waste volleys on uh, enemy supply wagons. Alright. <laughs> I stonewalled Jackson, yes, in, in a way. This little grove of trees was key to us holding the Confederates at bay and driving them back, and now almost counterattacking as well. On the on the flank attack area. Let's see if we can overwhelm right and double envelop this flank. I mean, does have some troops, it looks like, here. Kershaw's brigade is in defensive positions opposite of the objective. Alright. We've driven right back. We're continuing to advance. Some of these enemy units are low on ammo. Cars retreating. I'm gonna bring... Baylor and some more of our brigades on the right down here on their flank. Hopefully the enemy doesn't have strong positions in between us and them, but we're going to abandon our defensive works on the right and launch an all-out attack. This artillery is... I don't know if they're shooting, but they're not hitting anything. It's dark, so it is a night attack at this point. Lynch is being held at bay by enemy artillery. Wasn't, and I'm going to have charge and try and overwhelm the small brigade under Perry. You know, Caldwell, Harris, these guys need ammo. Alright, let's see if we can just overwhelm them. There he goes. These guys are all reloading very slowly. Bringing my artillery up to try and provide some close support. Bringing my ammo up to get some of these troops more efficiently prepared to fight. Okay. Alright. 
Grant is OP. Well, I haven't had Grant since Chance with for since Shiloh. He was killed at Shiloh. Flanking maneuver is trying. Oh, Kershaw. Wow, that's a big brigade over there. Mission continued. Okay, finish. Proceeding to the next day. All right. So now what happens? Are we all back in our same positions again? Yesterday, the unexpected flank attack by Stonewall Jackson was a nasty spur- Oh, come on! All right, guys, that's going to be the end of part two of the Battle of Chancellorsville. Uh, we successfully held off Jackson's flanking attack with a little bit of gamey uh, refusing of my flank on my part, so a little bit of cheating there, but it also didn't seem like the Confederates pressed it all that hard. They had a couple of, you know, brigades come up sort of piecemeal, uh, face us in, in the open, and volley away. Maybe if I had left my flank exposed, it would have been much more difficult and frantic, but at the end of the day... Knowing history as I do and not wanting to lose just for the sake of modeling history, uh, we were able to take advantage of Jackson's uh, flank attack, form a strong defensive position, and hold them off with relative ease. Additionally, we did go ahead and launch a counterattack against Lee's right wing, which was uh, badly exposed. We took one of the two objectives there. If we had taken both, we would have won the battle, uh, but alas, it was not meant to be. We only took, I believe we took Orange Plank Road, but we didn't take the Orange Turnpike, and as a result, we didn't win the battle. That's kind of one frustration I have with this series in general. I'll talk a little bit about it more in the next video. But in general, you take a key objective like that, and the game just says, well, just kidding, you didn't really keep it. We're going to go back onto the historical battle day, the third, you know, May 3rd fight. Uh, as if nothing had happened there. And that was a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, Ultimate General was, uh, Gettysburg was more customizable in that way, in that you had uh, various, um, you know, variants of scenarios. Uh, Ultimate General Civil War takes the approach of providing, you know, 30 plus battles or, you know, many battles, uh, but less customization with the individual battles. All right, guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this piece of the live stream. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.